I'm meteorologist Chris Holcomb from the 11 Alive Storm Trackers. We're still watching a very active time in the tropics right now. We have Tropical Storm Jerry. We'll talk more about Jerry in just a second. But we have a system that is down in the Southern Caribbean that we're watching very closely. This is Tropical Storm Karen, and it is starting to gain a little bit of strength there. We're going to keep an eye on that as it moves up through the Caribbean. Right now, we have some Tropical Storm warnings in effect from Grenada up into the St. Vincent area, and then Tropical Storm Watch in effect for Puerto Rico and also the U.S. and British Virgin Islands as that system is going to be moving up toward the north. You can see here the track of what we're watching, most likely impacting parts of the Puerto Rico area, maybe the U.S. and British Virgin Islands here on Tuesday, and then it moves up to the north. And I know you're probably looking at that thinking, okay, it's not going to be anywhere near us. This is where it gets interesting because the system is going to be impacted by an area of high pressure to the north that may push this more toward the west once we get toward the end of the week. And we're kind of seeing that on the uh, uh, spaghetti models as well as it goes north and then it gets a push over toward the west. Now, again, this is way out. We're talking about into the end of next week and next weekend. Uh, and into next week, actually, when this would be actually impacting anyone, if it even does impact the United States. So just know that that's something that we're going to be watching uh, very closely as well. We also still have Tropical Storm Jerry out there. Just keeping an eye on that, we don't think it'll have any impact on the U.S. coast. We think it'll move to the north of Bermuda into Tuesday and also on Wednesday. And we aren't finished yet. There is another system that we're watching coming up, coming off of the coast of Africa. This could become Lorenzo. So this has a 90% chance of development over the next two and five days here. Pretty strong wave coming in off the coast. We'll keep an eye on that to see if that would have any impact on the U.S. Way too early to tell that right now. And some of our models for the extended period period are indicating that this would curve away as well. But again, we'll keep a close eye on it. Watch 11 Alive for more updates. We also have updates on 11alive.com and Facebook and Twitter.